You know what's on my mind today? Love. Love is on my mind. Love can be a beautiful thing. And it can cause incredible feelings. It can cause some of the worst of them. You know exactly what I mean, right? You know, if you've had your heart broke, if you've been betrayed, if, you know, if it's lost due to death, or whatever, love lost is a horrifying thing. And it can make us sort of respond by putting up a wall sometimes and saying, never again, never again. I, I will never allow myself to love again. I will never allow myself to feel that way again. I will prevent that from happening. I will cut it off. I will sabotage personally every attempt ever made to get into that situation because the pain is so horrific. I understand. Trust me, I do. But there's a problem with doing that because... Well, I'll be honest, you, I'm sure you remember what it feels like to be in love. And to be in love isn't the most amazing of feelings there is, right? So you're resigning yourself to not ever feel that way again. But when compared to the pain, sometimes that seems like a pretty good trait. I mean, logically we think, well, it's not. But in our heart, we think differently, right? But there's another problem with that. And simply put, it's, well, I mean, you've got a lot to love to give, don't you? You do. I know you do. There's a lot of depth inside of you and passion and loyalty and just everything inside you. And you've got all this inside of you. Now, I know you've given it away to people before that used it and betrayed it and treated it like garbage, second class, whatever. But it's still there, isn't it? And by putting that wall up and saying never again, you are depriving somebody out there of you. Right? I mean, there is somebody out there that does need you and the love that you have. Right? They they, they need they don't may not realize it. Maybe somebody you already know, maybe somebody you've never met, but somebody out there needs it. And you need to be able to give that. You need to be able to give that almost more than you need to be able to receive it. Let's be honest, receiving it's awesome, but giving it's awesome too. So by putting those walls up, we're depriving other people of us, and we're depriving ourselves of them. Now, that's somewhat easy to say, and it's a little harder to leap on when you've been betrayed and when you've been hurt. Now, I mean, if the hurt's recent, don't go thinking you've got to jump in right away or whatever. I mean, you're allowed to grieve, you know, and certainly do grieve. Just don't simply bury it away somewhere. But, I mean, take time, you know, to really experience that and go through it. I know it's not pleasant, but you've got to. Otherwise, things don't get healed, right? But I want to encourage you to not stay in that box, to not say never again. Maybe just say not right now, but leave yourself open to the possibility that in the future, maybe there's somebody out there, you know, that's not only going to appreciate what you have to give, but is going to treasure it and is going to treasure you. And maybe you'll even get the same thing back you're giving. Maybe you won't, but, you know, this isn't a business deal. Here, I'll give you this and you give me that. That's not the way it works and you know it, but... Just say it. Anyways, I hope you have a lovely week. And as I said, boys and girls, we're all in this together, right? All right. Peace out.